Hello and welcome to Tech Gainers. My name is Chandra and I am a technology explorer. This video is part of Spring Boot recipes and today we will see JMX endpoints exposed using actuators. Let's start. Here is a quick recap of actuators. You can watch my previous video to know more about actuators in detail. We can add production grade features to the Spring Boot app by adding actuator dependency. Here you can see the dependency which we need to add. So actuator endpoints are exposed over HTTP and JMX. By default, only health and info endpoints are available on HTTP and rest others on JMX. So we can monitor as well as manage the Spring Boot application over JMX. By default, JMX endpoints are not enabled. So in case our requirement is to use the JMX ambience, we need to enable the JMX exposure by setting the spring.jmx.enable property as true in the application. By default, Spring Boot exposes the domain org.springframework.boot. We'll see this in the demo. First, we will see how we can make use of jconsole to monitor and manage the actuator JMX ambience. Now, you must be thinking what is jconsole, right? Let me tell you, jconsole is a JMX compliant monitoring and management tool. This is available out of the box with the JDK. So no need of downloading any other software. jconsole provides a minimal GUI that helps in monitoring the Java application. Let's see jconsole in action. So this is the setup which we have used in our last video. Here we'll go to the application.properties and these are the old properties which we have defined in the last video now in current video we need to enable the jmx endpoint so how we can do it by making this property as true so now let's start the application yeah application is started let's go to actuator actuators are working fine yeah it is up and running and we can check the health as well okay now to check jconsole, what we need to do, we just need to go to command prompt, right? And if your Java path is set correctly, and if you write jconsole, you are good to go. Yes. So we can see Java monitoring and management console. This is jconsole. And in a new connection, you can see there are two options coming, local process or remote process. So local process is the processes which are running on my local system. and to monitor the remote processes, which we, we can use this option where we need to just provide the host name colon port and username password. So it will be connected to that process. We'll go with the local process here and we can see this is my process. Hello Spring Boot actuator. Just double click here. It will say that it is an insecure connection. So we can go ahead. Yeah, let me maximize this. Okay, so you can see that using this uh, out of the box tool, we can check the heap memory usage, what are the number of threads, classes loaded, then CPU usage. Okay, but uh, for today's video, we'll directly go to mbeans over here. And these are the mbeans which are exposed and our interest is in the org.springframework.boot okay so here we can see endpoint and these are the endpoints available so we just checked health in the web endpoint okay let's see from here if you go to health operations health so you need to click on health here and you can see the output okay so it is not very much readable but we can say status up component this let's see few more for example, if you want to check info, we can go here, info, click here, just copy it, okay, we can, okay, so we can see app equal to encoding is uh, UTF-8, Java, source is 11, target is 11, and name is Spring Boot Actuator, okay. So other than this, we can check like we can get the environment details, right? We have seen the custom endpoint as well, which we have built in our last video. Okay. And here we have the beans as well. So to check what all beans are there, we can see this and 
okay so here is the list of all the beans that are available now to check the logs you can go here loggers and this is the loggers so you can see the log levels of each component right these are the levels which are of error 1 info debug and trace so root logger is info effective level info and similarly for that for a spring boot hello spring boot it is info now this was all about monitoring right how we are monitoring the ambience okay but we can manage as well so i have given logging dot level dot com dot tag genus dot hello spring boot as info okay so i've cleared it let's go to postman and i will hit this endpoint this is one log and this is error log okay because we have set the log level as info now if you want to switch off right so what we need to do we need to say com dot tag genus dot hello spring boot and value i will give it as off so without touching the code so if everything is fine it will return null okay and again we'll go to the application clear all okay and we will hit the endpoint once again so there is no logs now coming because it has switch off the logs so this is how we can manage and monitor jmx m means using the j console so now let's see how we can manage jmx over jolokia so another way to access jmx bean is to use jolokia so what exactly is jolokia it is a jmx http bridge that provides an alternative method of accessing jmx means so what you need to do is just add a dependency zolokia core and spring boot will handle automatically using the auto configuration after this only one step that remains is to expose the zolokia endpoint on the web by using the property web exposer include after this we can access the endpoints using slash actuator slash zolokia let's see zolokia in action so coming back to the code we need to add the zolokia core dependency here you can see i have already added okay and then we need to go to the application dot properties and add zolokia in web exposer okay so once you have added it you just need to refresh the application so here we can see the actuator endpoint let's refresh it and we can see the zolokia endpoint if you click here you can see all the properties so if you are getting this response that means your zolokia endpoint is working right here you can see agent is 1.6.2 protocol 7.2 listen for http service true okay now how to read the jmx bean exposed by actuators okay so for this what you need to do just go to the next step slash we need to execute and the domain is org dot spring framework dot boot then we need to give the type type equal to endpoint and name equal to health and in the health we need to get the health operation yeah so we can see the zolokia response is having these uh, components where first one is the request request it will say that this is the mbean which is requested type is execution and operation is health and value is the response okay so we can see it is now listing the disk space then ping status liveness state readiness state so this is how we'll get the response okay now suppose i want to get the info so i can use name equal to info and operation is info we got the value right so be careful that name is case sensitive 
okay yeah so this is how we can use zolokia end points here we come to the end of this video thanks for watching source code can be found in my github repository if you like the content please share it with your friends please subscribe the channel to get latest videos keep exploring thanks